not so much a project, it's more a case of setting an agenda. Um, we're very keen to explore new territory. And so I think really that's the, the first prerequisite. It has to be edgy, it has to be experimental, it has to be somewhere we haven't been before. And it has to relate to a real need. We were actually approached by Smart Geometry to put together a proposal of what it would be to actually make Smart Geometry in Barcelona. When we looked at all the proposals, one thing that was very attractive at IAC was their integration of manufacturing into that design process. Well, first of all, IAC is a sort of experimental camp. It is not a big university with all its attendant bureaucracy. And driven towards experimentation. And that has proved to be outstanding. And we have a building that actually is a kind of an old industrial warehouse. I think it plays a, it plays a massive role. It's really the catalyst for, for this event. It's where things can happen here that is very difficult to actually have them in a different place. The crucial thing is that we have manufacturing uh, facilities, digital manufacturing facilities here, and one big space where we can build, uh, we can work on the computers in one space. But also we have two very large fab labs. The fab lab is, is mainly where the things are being made inside the workshop. It's where the, the digital prototypes become uh, physical. In previous years, the, the products have all been in the screen, in the virtual realm, whereas here, at the end of the workshop, it's what's physically present in the space. The idea to go from the digital to the physical, and we normally do this as part of our work here at the end, as our research. The main driver in most design applications now is to find ways to directly engage with fabrication processes. Testing the, the, the digital production against the material constraints and going back in this process of back and forward with the, the actual and the virtual. Once people do that, it changes the way they approach design. And you can't learn this unless you have the possibility of this kind of facility. What's really interesting about this year is for the first time we decided that we were going to do it with the university rather than doing it as a, as a conference venue. One of very interesting thing is that we have actually worked out with Smart Geometry the participation of our students as inherently part of the workshop. We're talking about collaboration, this is one of the unique event here because we, we have um, professors, but we also have third-year architecture students working together with professionals, architects, engineers, mathematicians. These are people of complete range of the, of the hierarchies everywhere, but they all come together and we flatten everything. They all work together on one thing. Right now the students are actually having a very interesting experience because they can follow the workshop really, really closely and being involved directly into making those prototypes. This year we've blown it apart and, and, the, and actually explored the diversity of fabrication. So you have a complete range of, of clusters and using completely different techniques and machines. I think an event like this uh, for IAC is quite important. First of all, it gives us the opportunity to test all the things that we say we do, that uh, we always talk about, digital fabrication, complex geometries. Second of all, it gives us the chance to test our workflows in terms of the fab lab, the machines. Um, really, this event has pushed it to, to its limits. In terms of size, maybe this is uh, the biggest workshop because it's not one workshop, it's 10 workshops at the same time. And I think thirdly, um, in terms of scale, it allows our students to see what we can actually do in this space. A really great experience working in the Fab Lab um, because we get to see a different perspective of what is going on here, not only the digital side, but also the material aspect of what each one of the clusters is working on. I 
our program in Yak is uh, is really connect with this kind of workshop. It's great that we can do something real. Working specifically in each cluster, we get to get to know the software in specific. Some of us we try to go along and take as much as we can. very friend friendly and they're always supportive and trying to, to let me know of what they're doing and, and I could interact I think I could interact very well with them. The tutors are excellent. It's been a lot different from previous smart geometries, you know, I think previous smart geometries we felt a lot like kind of uh, psychiatrists going through people's computational problems and, and whatnot, whereas this is very much a hands-on thing. We've actually created the problem for the people. This space is just absolutely fantastic. Um, there's been so much energy. Um, despite all the, the problems of, of sharing a space very closely, I think the advantages outweigh it. It's, it's really wonderful to be able to see what other groups are working on, and I think oftentimes we found that there are very interesting connections and potential collaborations that occur. Smart Geometry is proving to be a very adaptable event, so it's able to sort of change as we develop new technologies, new softwares, that we're able to sort of change the event to accommodate these new ideas. And EAC here has provided a fantastic venue uh, for us to be able to explore these ideas. Um, I think this is really, I mean, so far, this is definitely one of my favorite Smart Geometries that I have been to. Regarding uh, my experiences uh, here in Nayak, I think this is um, um, something that's never really happened before on that scale and we are all very happy to be able to um, contribute to this, uh, I would say, creative mess that we're doing here and, and I think it's all brilliant and the inspiration is uh, immense and fantastic. This year um, we're actually making stuff and that's the point of it. That's why we have software so we can model things to make it easier to make, not to make it easier to look at it on a computer screen. It's about making stuff so it's been a, it's been a good experience. But it's also very nice that uh, everything is, is uh, so narrow together because I mean it, it's, yeah, it's really nice to just like walk around and, and see like what the others do but also communicate with them and exchange so it's, it's yeah. It's, it's really nice to have like everything in one space. In terms of philosophy, uh, we feel very much at home here. Our lab studio philosophy encompasses musicians and mathematicians, designers, biologists, chemists. Um, so we feel very much at home here, more so than in many other places because the philosophy is very much overlapping. I'd say you know, equally radical and different, but uh, it's, it's fabulous to be here. They were trying to find my way here, you know, through all the streets. And I met a friend across the street, and, and he said, actually, you'll find smart geometry this year. It's behind the big generator. So that was the first clue as to where is EAC? You know, it's behind the hum of the big generator. I walked past the generator, opened the door, and this incredible buzz inside the space as well as outside. And, and what it made me feel immediately was that this is the kind of school that I wish I had gone to. Mm -hmm.